Hey! Um, if you don't know me, I'm Ellie. I'm obsessed with all things Squarespace and systems. Um, automation in your business is a huge thing. Um, and making things really easy on the automation side for your users is where your website comes into play. So those are my two favorite things. Um, today I want to talk to you about how to use anchor links in your in your website. Um, it's a really, really important thing um, to be able to access information more quickly sometimes, especially if you have, say, a really long sales page or um, maybe a, you want to do a shop workaround. So I'm going to show you a few examples of how I've done this on previous sites, and then I'm going to show you how to actually do it um, anywhere on your own site. So let's start with this one. All right. So in her shop, we wanted to really specifically um, go here. Just a second. I thought I'd already done this. We wanted specifically, we don't, she doesn't have a shop in the traditional sense. She, we wanted to, instead of having a standard Squarespace store, we wanted to be, be able to collect everything together um, it's under earrings um nose rings etc cetera, etc cetera. so instead of it, letting them potentially get mixed up or having to drag them around in the squarespace store so what we've done instead is and i've put some really funny animations around these as well with some code but what we've done instead is use summary blocks on another page and so in order for so, so people to have to scroll all the way down to get to cufflinks, and now it's, you know, not terribly far, but still, um, if they know they're there for cufflinks, they don't want to scroll all the way to the bottom, they can click this button. And yes, it's being really slow because my internet's being a bit funny, but it takes them straight to cufflinks. You can go back to the top, and if I want rings, it takes them straight to rings. And that's what the power of anchor links can do. Um, another example is I have um a client that i've done these courses for and so um for every one of her courses we create a course directory section so people don't have to go to a specific page so if they're actually in the course the nice introductory thing looks like this take them to the course directory or any of the specific modules and then if they click um if they click one of these it will take them directly to that module and even to that uh, video or download. So if I click this download, it will take me into that module and scroll all the way down the page to the appropriate download. So that's another thing. And at the top of every one of these pages, we also have the ability for people to jump to the thing. This makes it really mobile friendly, um, especially for this course. A lot of them are moms that are probably watching them on their, with their phone silenced with subtitles um, while they're breastfeeding. So, that is another way to use anchor links. Another thing that way that I've used it with a client recently is she has a really, really long training page. All of her offers are listed on one page. I didn't set this up, um, but I did help her utilize it better. So she has all like this really long page of all the different ways people can work with her. So instead, we've created these sections of the page so if somebody wants to go to her coaching it scrolls them all the way down to coaching and that's all automatic and we've embedded acuity here so people can just book in and it makes it really easy for them and for her it makes it really easy both directions so the way we've done this is by creating just links in the navigation that are connected to that anchor tag so let's look a little bit about how to do this. Um, this is the page that I do all my teaching from. It's just a really basic um, page in Squarespace that I call my sandbox. Um, so let's start with the thing you need to start with when you're creating anchor blocks is a code block. So you need to add a code block and I'm going to add that just up here in the corner. When you've done it, it will kind of hide in the background. So you don't really need to worry too much about it. Um, but I'm just going to make this as small as possible for the sake of that. Um, there, I will link this in the video, but this is Squarespace's support um, page on how to use anchor links. So they have their own tutorial here too, but I wanted to make sure to include some examples of how it really can work for your business. So this is the code you're gonna need. And this 
So if you can go ahead and then paste that into the site, now you can see it says, this is where the link will jump to. I always just delete this. Nine times out of 10, you don't want this text to be seen unless maybe it's a back to top button at the bottom of your website. Um, but normally you don't want there to be any text here. So just go ahead and delete that. And then unique ID, what's in quotes there should be whatever it is. So I'm gonna call this um, sandbox, it's well sand, sandbox section one for me. That's what I'm gonna call this. And then I'm gonna do the same thing in section two. So I'm gonna add a block. I'm gonna add some code. In this case, I'm gonna hide it up in this corner here. And then I'm gonna paste that same code Probably should have copied it without all this. And I'm gonna call this sandbox two. Now I can make this even easier for myself if I want to duplicate this and drag it. Oops, well, <laughs> I don't think you can drag it into the next section, unfortunately, which I was hoping you can do. But what I can do, <clears throat> excuse me, still on the other side of this cold. It's just copy and paste the, the text. Okay, so add code block, hide it up in this corner, add that. It doesn't seem to want to get any smaller than that, which is fine. You could technically put it to the back, but you don't really need to. All right, and then I'm gonna also make sure because you don't ever want to have any section IDs or IDs that are the same, that can be really problematic. So I'm gonna update that to three. All right, and I'm gonna hit save. The next thing we need to do is, so that's telling people that that section is what shows people where they're gonna go. Um, so you're telling the code that, or the, the link, here's the ID I want you to jump to. But what we need to do now is actually put those links somewhere. So, you're gonna go with your page slug and then you, the hashtag and then unique ID. So if I wanted to, for example, um, at the top of this page, create a text block or, or a button actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete that and I think a button would be better. So I'm gonna create a button that says Take me to section three. And you could do this, at, you know, with courses. Um, I actually have this on that same yoga instructor. She has a course and I have three buttons and they take her, her students to each different module of her and because hers are videos um, collection pages. So what I'm gonna do is put in this slug for this. I'm not a big fan of the fill buttons. Okay, or sorry, the fit buttons. Hmm. The fill buttons, that's the one. So I'm gonna to go to this page, um, forward slash, and this is sandbox two. And I'm gonna do another forward slash, hashtag, and I'm gonna say sandbox three, and that's gonna take me to section three. And that button is saved, and we're gonna hit save here, and we're gonna test it. Take me to section three, clicked it, there we are, section three. Now we can do this anywhere. On my website i could put this up in the navigation like i showed you before that same if i just copied and pasted essentially this link and obviously this is an internal link <clears throat> then i can put this in my navigation i could put it on another page of my website i could put it really anywhere but you could i could even link this from an external website so if i were to give somebody this link um, but obviously put calibrated concepts Calm in front of it and then give someone this link, it will take them to this, this specific section that I want from anywhere on the web. So that's how you use the anchor links in Squarespace. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, drop them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Have a good day.